Coming to paperback and e-readers, Isis Legacy. The sorority secrets of the goddess next door are revealed in this all-new Isis series adventure. Pre-order your copy of Isis Legacy on Amazon.com today. One of my viewers sent me a link to his comic, The Delta Dogs. And after picking up the first two issues on his website, I have to say I'm impressed with the whole concept of the Delta Dogs. Now, the Delta Dogs is a family of seven cousins who get superpowers after an encounter with an alien. And that encounter with an alien leads to a very intriguing mystery in this comic where we see a family coming together and the aftermath of a crisis and looking to do good in their community. Now, the thing that I like the most about the Delta Dogs concept is the whole concept of the black family, and I really loved seeing how this black family came together to go out here and look to do good in the community. I really like the fact that we saw a positive image of black manhood and black masculinity in the pages of the Delta Dogs, and even though these boys are young, they're still receiving guidance that will help them be able to go out here and become strong men. So I really liked seeing all of those aspects as related to these boys, because they are teenagers, and again, that's why I say this concept really reminds me of the best parts of the Fantastic Four as related to family, and it also shows me a little bit of the friendship as related to comics like Teen Titans and Blood Syndicate. So this comic really, it takes, a, it's a really fresh and unique concept and I was really impressed with this first issue. Now this first issue, while it wasn't absolutely perfect in terms of store of um, pacing, it did have really good characters and we get introduced to these characters on the first page we get to see all of who the main characters are and i was really glad to see all of those main characters presented on the first page because it lets me get to know who are the main characters now the story model is a little bit of that brian michael bendis storyline model that i really don't like in that it has a lot of expositionary sequences but i like the fact that he does do this in an old school marvel fashion because um, the old school Marvel fashion, what it does is it introduces us to the heroes, and after we're introduced to the heroes, then we get into the origin story. Now, what I mean by Brian Michael Bendis style pacing is that the first page really doesn't show the hero in action. We get an expository sequence of the bank, and I believe that these kind of sequences, they, they slow a story down. So, instead of us seeing the hero on the first page, we get the here we get the bank robbery starting and then we don't get to see the heroes until the third page now a good comic introduces the hero in three to five pages but uh, we only get a little shadow of the heroes on by the third page now that we do get into the action which is a good thing but the whole thing is you want to manage your pages so that the people can see the hero in action very quickly because when you're trying to sell a comic you want to get the reader into that comic as soon as possible. So we do get introduced to these to the Delta Dogs going into action with these bank robbers, but I, in some ways I believe that this sequence could be a little better paced. I mean, the pacing is okay for a comic as related to a first issue, but the whole thing is that you're, there's a lot of this page pages could be managed a little better. Now, I do like the action on the page of this first issue, how we see one of the boys using his pow his powers of density to stop the bank robber's SUV, and then we see them taking down these bank robbers with blasts of power and showing them protecting the community. Now, after they are shown beating the bank robbers and t taking down the community, we get introduced to the boys as they were before they got their powers. And we get a good little sequence getting to know all of these characters in this first issue, getting to know all of them and their relationships with their families. And it seems like one of them, the leader, seems to 
have had a bit of a rough life. So we get some introductions to them, and this sequence goes on for a while. So I don't want to, I want to want to um, take away from all of their hard work. But eventually, this leads to them going on a trip somewhere, and then they run into this alien who gives them their power. So this is a good first issue, and it's a good it's a good start to this series. I mean, it does what a first issue is supposed to do. A first issue is supposed to introduce us to the hero. It's supposed to introduce us to their the, what they do and show us their mission. And it introduces us to these main characters, what they want to do and why we should care. Now. The only issues I have is with a little bit of the pacing, but I understand why there were pacing issues because there are just so many characters. And when you have a lot of characters, this can slow a book down. And that's one of the reasons why most good creators, they try to keep their cast down to about four or five characters because when you have four or five characters, you can develop each character, develop each voice, develop each personality and you can do this in a condensed form like a comic book because in a comic book storytelling is very condensed so you have to watch while you go out here and pace your comic because if you don't put enough if you don't if you don't pace your comic right you can wind up making it where you're having issues with the pages flowing and when you have issues with the pages flowing what happens is it is becomes the book becomes hard to read. Now the Delta Dogs was very easy to read. It just went on for a little longer than I usually expect in comics. And the whole thing is is that while it was well, it went on a little longer, it, the story was very compelling. So the story is there as related to the concept and the premise. It just the whole thing is you just need to get the pacing a little better as related to the story and page management but that's something that takes place over time I mean I didn't come in learning how to write comics um well when I first did East Steam No Good Deed and Isis All That Glitters comic script no I I made mistakes with that and I wound up having to take that those scripts apart and bring them down to the basic essentials of action so when I did the first East Steam No Good Deed comic script, comic script, it was 11 pages. But when I finished and sent that art, that script to Bill Walko, that script was only nine pages. So I cut two pages out so that it could go out here and flow a lot better. And currently, I'm looking at the Isis All That Glitter script for panels that I don't believe need to be there because sometimes you don't need certain panels in order to move the story forward. And you really want to keep the character, the story moving from page to page. And I'll give Varnell Young, he did put together a very solid script here. It just needed a little bit of refinement. But the overall concept for Delta Dogs is absolutely fantastic. I loved seeing black culture and the black family presented in the pages of this comic. And I love seeing how these cousins come together to look out for each other. The concept is there. He just needs to learn a little bit more about the craft of storytelling. And once he learns how to make storytelling work inside of a comic book model, I believe he's going to be a really solid comic book writer. I mean, all the elements are there. He's got the characters. He's got the story. And he just needs to learn some techniques as related to writing and he needs to learn some techniques as related to how to pace out a page. It's no different than what I saw with Sister Circle X. Very good concept, but the whole thing is you have to learn things like page management and you have to learn how to pace your pages out so that the reader can go and turn page to page and see action. And what you want your readers to do is be able to go from page to page and be able to go out here and want to turn the next page. So this is something that is that I didn't see in the first two. Now the first page has the shotgun. That'll make me turn the page. But the second page with them um, going out here and she's stuffing the money in, that doesn't make me want to turn the page. So you have to watch the panels in what you do because this panel right here, this is not going to make me want to turn a page. And then me seeing this guy and not the hero, that's also not going to make me turn the page. The best thing to do was they needed to move 
this panel up and make this the main panel where we see the hero come into action and then have the heroes come in and make that the center of the page. That's all part of good page management because you want to pace the story because once we see the heroes in action and then we see this guy looking to run, that makes me want to turn the page. So you really want to watch how you manage your pages because your goal when you're writing comics because it's a visual medium is to get people to follow the pictures and if you have a page that's off like this one it's going to mess up the, your ability to go out here and get people to turn the page so that's all part of writing comics but that's again it takes time to learn this this whole skill set and it's, it's it is a skill set because as somebody who has skills in writing novels skills at writing screenplays and skills at writing comic scripts I know how much work goes into a comic and Von L. Young has done a great job with this concept and this premise it just he just needs to learn a little bit more about craft because the more you learn about craft the more you can learn how to make a tighter story this story was solid overall and this concept is solid overall and I definitely want to pick up more issues and I recommend you pick up more issues because this could be because he's got 20 issues of this book and usually when a writer comes out with a comic the first issue it, it is just them getting their footing and usually by the 20th or the 30th issue where the book is right now I believe he's probably got his footing where it needs to be so I definitely recommend you pick up the Delta Dogs it's got a great premise it's got a great concept the writing is very solid overall outside of a few technical issues and the art is absolutely solid by Mark Rivida and it's and it's just something that I would definitely recommend you pick up and I really like seeing um, great books like Delta Dogs and it really makes me smile because I'm seeing more and more small independent black comic creators coming out here putting together very absolutely fantastic concepts and I'm glad to, to be in this age where there are so many great black comics out here by independent black creators and I'm glad to see more independent black creators getting out here like Millennial Comics and I want to see most many of those black creators come out here and thrive and that's why I'm making these video reviews of these great comics like Delta Dogs because I want you to go out here and pick these books up help these small independent black publishers get their books out there and help these guys build an audience with their books because this is a great concept about that really talks about black culture and the black family and it's it's really absolutely fantastic because it's like we've got a black fantastic four in the pages of this great comic now if you want to pick up your own copy of delta dogs or the entire 20 issue run so far of Delta Dogs, you can do so by checking out Millennial Comics official website by clicking the link in the description box. And if you want to pick up my first comic, e Steam No Good Deed, you can find that comic on Kindle on Amazon.com for 99 cents. And currently, I've got 31 of 32 pages of John Haynes at Death's Door from Antonio Baldari. And I'm hoping to have the John Haynes at Death Store Kickstarter coming out soon once I get the cover and the final page. So I'm hoping to be able to share that comic with you on Kickstarter soon. So until then, I'm asking everybody to head over to Amazon.com to pick up the books on the SJS Direct imprints prose fiction, that, such as the Isis series, the E-Steam series, the John Haynes series, and the books of the Spinsterella trilogy. Those books in the SJS Direct Universe are available in paperback and Kindle format, and you can also find those books on Smashwords, the iBook Store, and Google Play. And if you want to see me do more great comic review videos of comics like Delta Dogs, you can donate to my Patreon, my PayPal, or my Cash App by clicking the links in the description box. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe. You think you've seen scares? Get ready for the horror. The horror of the hyena woman. Ha 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 